Welcome back to True News. If you can hear a building going on outside of our flat, you can't. It, you can't. The sound is fine. No complaints in the comments. Thank you very much. Just yeah. appreciate what you're given. You mm. absolute bottom feeders. Otherwise, Brian will come into your restaurant and find you sexually attractive, and nobody wants that. Oh, this is old news. Look, we do it when we want. Saw a very sweet tweet though the other day. This girl said, "I rely on you for my relationship to keep going." Where's True News? I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. God, if we're keeping a relationship together, that is a first for me. James Charles, uh, he does what he wants. James he does, Charles, he does, does what, what he wants. wants. James Charles. He's really come into his own this year. So to speak. Shove his dick in his own asshole. That would be a change. <laughs> Shoving my pinky dinky up my own asshole. Literally. You tatty little woman. Tatty, uh, where we're from, it doesn't probably mean the same thing. No. Tatty's like old and um, sort of like something you'd find in a... In an old sort of shop. Yeah. Where it's like a tatty cardigan. Do you know what happened? Yeah. You update me because I haven't followed it as closely as others. So I was working at TGI's on the Friday night and there was a small group of YouTubers that came in. At the time, I thought nothing of it, Brian. But as the evening went on, I saw it was a family with a friend. And I went over to get the order from the table. I'm tearing up now, even thinking of it. He just kept saying to me, I could have you if I wanted. I could have you if I wanted. And his friend kept saying, you couldn't, he's straight. And he just turned to me and went, I'm famous. Is that all James Charles did wrong? No, he did some other stuff as well. It was quite offensive the way that he tried to turn straight men gay. His type is apparently straight men. Cool. So you, his type. Me. Definitely is time. And apparently this lass made a video about it because he chose to promote a rival brand. What it sounded like when I first watched some of it was like, mm. I wasn't going to say anything about James Charles being a total cunt, but now that he's promoted something that's opposing what I'm trying to sell, mm -hmm. now it's not okay. Yeah. Line my pockets, no more, James. That was the main problem. Line my pockets, we're all good. Mm -hmm. Line the opposition's pockets, now I'm grassing you up. She's a bit of a cunt as well. Whoa, you can't call a woman a cunt. I think that's a little far. She's quite powerful as well. Is she? Yeah. Well, Unsubscribe to True Jody! Yeah. Fuck off! That's not the way it works. I mean. In order to want millions of people to watch you, mm -hmm. you can't be a cunt. Yeah. In order to be selfish right. and concentrate your whole life about making yourself look good, not, you have to be a cunt. He did a bit of an apology video, did he? Can yeah. No we'll makeup for this one. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah. perfectly handsome lad, doesn't need all that, don't need all the that makeup. cake up, yeah. you know what I mean? You can't sell bare face though, Brian. Yeah. Can I just say, yeah. the irony is True. that we're listening to this this week because our speaker didn't charge on a joyful karaoke system, so... I bought him that for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, uh, still here. He does look like he's been crying a lot at this point. Maybe, he looks like his hair's a bit of a mess, he looks like he had a wild night. Some uh, big straight man just holding onto his hair. Whoa. Fucking yeah. take it. To Tati and James Westbrook, I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through. I'm sorry for putting you through me promoting a brand in opposition to you, you money hungry cunt. Literally, what has he put us through? He got a fucking paycheck off of him, he took the money and he promoted some bullshit. Worry about your own company. For example, we've got sponsors. If someone promotes something else that's love in us. opposition to them, go and fucking crack on just because you're my friend doesn't matter. Like, exactly, you know I mean? yeah. I, this is ridiculous. For me, the issue with it all is the fact that they did it all publicly. She helped this guy from day one, so fair Whatever. Fox. Yeah, but, but don't make a there's video. There's an ownership from her point of view there. Yeah. Like, I helped make you. Yeah. And now you're going to promote something that is against what I'm promoting, fuck you. That's not- Cancelled? What a load of wank that is. Yeah, cancel culture. Cancelled. Yeah. If anyone says you're cancelled, you're never cancelled. The fact that people care enough about you to say cancelled means you're actually very relevant, you're fine. God, is someone sucking him off right now? <laughs> I was just wondering that. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those straight guys. They really do give a good suck job. Maybe he sat down before and was like, let's see if I can get a bullshit apology out while you suck on this dick. Yeah. I met Tati and James almost three years ago now when I was first coming into the industry and when I had no friends and nobody to talk to. When you're wanting people to forgive you, ah, you want them to think, little lonely James coming into the industry not knowing anyone. No dicks to suck. Yeah. Not a celebrity. He can't just... In yeah. a restaurant. Yeah. You there. You can't do none of that. He has to line up with all the normal people. Nah, he's yeah. got to just practice drawing on his face with brushes. And Tati very quickly took on a parental 
roll with me. I think we get what happened. He got lost in the bullshit and started getting up his own arse and just thinking he was the shit. Is this a genuine apology? Does he even give a fuck? How do you know what a genuine apology? Well, they say you you don't judge a man when he has nothing, judge a man when he has everything sort of Mm -hmm. thing. And he's got everything now and he's acting like a dick, apparently. Every single person who ever gets fame and rich, at some point, you're going to act like a dick. At some point. One thing I've got to say is I'm a bit tired of cancel culture because it just feels like people, because other people benefit from it, they go, we could try and get him cancelled. And it's always about trying to fuck people like it's always about sexual uh, oh he's a predator i mean he let's be real this guy is not a fucking predator he did exhibit predatory behavior yeah he acted like a dick maybe i'm i'm saying it differently because it was on a man and maybe if it'd been on a woman i would have been you're the waiter and he and he goes i could have you if i want i'll yeah. fuck you if i want I'm, okay. I'm famous i'll have whatever i want i'll have you how do you respond i would ignore it uh-huh. and just continue and sort of see it as like uh oh that's a little bit funny isn't it also because when i look at him i don't go there's a chance of this happening he's you not know, following you home and jumping on you so even if he did follow me home i'd still just go okay good night <coughs> james there's not going to be a moment where i'm scared of him do you know what i mean i just had james at the door <laughs> but, <laughs> bye. bye he's getting smashed and one of the people Not enough. who smashed him, Jeffree Star. So today's video, we are going to be discussing Jeffree Star finally coming for James Charles. And- <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Yesterday was so insane. And I know they say that a lot. Uh, I think he's just been cast as a Vulcan in the new Star Trek movie. With, with people when, when they have like surgery to look like aliens. <laughs> James Charles's brother tweeted, why does everyone act so tough on the internet? Now, Jeffree Star quote tweeted Ian and said, why is your brother a p- Why'd you really move back to New York City? Exactly. Shut the f*** up. Ah, oh, and that is the tea. He's got a bit of a vested interest in this because James Charles is coming for that makeup king, uh, c- sorry, queen sort of crown. A danger to society though. It's and mental. This, yeah, it? this is crazy. Because literally, this means nothing. I've just sent you a message from someone that's sent us something in regarding wow. Jeffree Star. Who's the real no. danger to society? <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> he groped a man's cock. I knew it was big. Um, so that, that was something he did. So people are like, you know, who are you to say? You're a hypocrite. To me, this all felt very unsatisfactory. It all felt very like people just cashing in, yeah, if, trying if, to get their big click. If you're a queen, yeah, you're coming to have that sass and that attitude, aren't they? They're all got it. Of course, they're going to act like dicks. It's not okay. Do you know what I mean? But they're all as bad as each other. It's as Bruno would say, a nish nish. Mm. It must be quite traumatic when you're at the eye of the storm and Kardashians unfollowed you. Another yeah. famous person. I, another I feel like person. YouTube is like that place now. People want to build you up to knock you down the minute right. you do anything wrong. You're going to fuck up when you're a young person on YouTube. Yeah. And it's like, in that time, you'll find out like what your real friends are and stuff. Like Logan well and truly earned it, but I think it's, this is really harsh and exposing my DMs with James Charles. Let's look at that clone. Yeah. I on my Instagram one random day and James Charles is in my DMs. And then this is where it kind of led into what I thought it was going to lead into. Have you heard the fucking music he's using? You'd think it was Star Wars? Yeah. I'm expecting lightsabers. Mm-hmm. You don't want to pull those out. Mm-hmm. If you replace those with cocks. That might be the audience that James Charles tries to go for. Straight guys with fog. I was the victim of James Charles. Here's me jumping in a pool. <laughs> and then this is where it kind of led into what I thought it was going to lead into. OMG, how old are you? OMG, how old are you? No, no, it's not how old are you. It's how old are you? How, how old are you? <laughs> yeah. Do you know why he can't text properly? He's wanking. <laughs> 19. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Do you know what I love his reply? Love that. 19. A man. Because at the time, James Charles was probably like 18. A cougar. He's mentioned, you're a little cradle snatcher. <laughs> to be fair, we are laughing at what could be ultimately sexual harassment. <laughs> Clearly, there is nothing about this that is leading to anything else besides a flirtatious approach. He's not doing anything wrong by no. flirting with this guy. Yeah. That's not illegal. He hasn't done anything wrong here yet. Yeah. This isn't some sort of docking situation when when someone starts flirting with you, then you're like... I- I can't get out of the tractor beam! Oh, oh my way. god, I'm caught! He's... It's flirting with me! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> so I was like, hey, yo, let's film a video, be in a series I do. I didn't want to, like, use him, I didn't want to do any of this, so I just tried to be nice. Like, yo, let's film I nice. don't want to use one of the 
fastest growing YouTubers in the world would want to use that. Hold on, wait. So his logic is this person is messaging me to either flirt or come on to me. And I'm going to ask him to be in a video with yeah. me. Yeah, so sorry, what's your motive for messaging this person again? Just go, sorry, James, we have no business here Do in this DMs. you know it's DMs. funny how people instantly slip into roles? Yeah. So in this one, James is the man. Yeah. And this straight Whoa, guy yeah. is the traditional girl role. Right. James wants his whole, and he wants to use that want get what he wants out of it which is money right. from views and subscribers and again, so yeah. this guy is the bitch this is where it kind of confirmed for me why he was in my dms said perhaps just because you're cute as hell so once again a flirtatious approach in my dms and me just getting kind of uncomfortable again could have put the phone down could have not replied could have said uncomfortable with this guess what wanted a video out of him yeah. so carried on replying yeah being truthful i've had dms off men before who were clearly gay oh right? you showed me that guy uh, that weird he was really weird uh i didn't <laughs> put it out there on the internet though you, you have a bit of a laugh to yourself and you cried you, i don't reply i didn't reply no right you didn't that, say podcast no <laughs> i think to be fair most guys most especially this guy most youtubers you're interested in women gay guy comes on you you don't reply hmm. he replied oh you just go he replied oh, this is completely harmless. because he had something he wanted out of this situation just as james charles did as far as i'm concerned fuck this he knew exactly what he was doing yeah Bullshit. But I did want to mention the fact, again, just to let him know that I have a girlfriend, so I have a little studio set up at my girl's house. Of course, when I say that, that's all he was in my DMs for and no response. But a little over a month later, I get a DM. Out of nowhere on November 20th, he said, OMG, you are literally so hot. So once again, <laughs> beyond flirting with me and says, I was just stalking your Instagram. I think James Charles forgot talking to him. It, when he went girl's house, James went delete. And then he, and then he came later, back and he was like, oh, I'd fuck him. In the same way as Michael Jackson had a type, James Charles has a type. That's very different, but yeah. Let's do that episode of Deeper Secrets soon. Again, still trying to get a video so, out of him. Uh, still replies. Exactly. Yeah. This shows what a bitch this guy is. James Charles is still coming for the hole and mm -hmm. he's still coming for the YouTube collab. Why doesn't this little fucking bitch just give his arse up and then get his fucking collab because and everyone gets what they want? I think when you do break it down, what you just said is this man should have anal sex in order to get James to do a video. If James Charles was just a gay guy with no YouTube following, yeah. you wouldn't be replying. I know he wouldn't be. He's replying because he wants the fucking video so right. bad. When women do this sort of thing, it's like, ugh, it's tacky. But for a tacky. man, for a man well, to come out and be like, well, I got some fucking messages of him. Pathetic. Honestly, right. this is just whole yeah. ass shit. Look, James is just horny. Honestly, that's all this is. He's sitting there, he's browsing Instagram, he's seeing him and thought, yeah, I would. I go back to the old phrase, Brian, an upstanding dick knows no mercy, all right? And you know that. Do you know um, Jake, Paul, and Tana? Their whole YouTube channels are, are based on drama and what their lives are. I, I kind of feel like they're perfect for each other, but they're also absolutely terrible. My mom is here to meet you. This is how I dress for when I'm meeting another parent. She's got nice... Um, Clothes. Necklace. Ben, and snap one more time. Ben, and snap one more time. I don't think I should go to LA. Uh, you know what I'd love is all these people are doing this in the vlog and you're just there just going, oh, weird. <laughs> it's like bend and snap and bend and Brian's just like Look at you guys go. Oh my two favorite girls. Aww. It's gonna be mad watching Jake's uh, love life for the next 20 years. Yeah. I feel like it's just gonna race through these girls. Just next one, next one, and another. And then when we go back through his YouTube channel, it's just gonna be like so many blondes. Just it's I gotta admire it. I, on a fair fucks to the guy. Do you have to admire it? Aye, fucking good on. I love how Jake always gets the tits on the, on camera. Fair play. So. I mean, to be fair, it's very difficult to um, sort of frame them out, isn't it? There. No, nah, but he's making sure. That they're in. We're literally it's not even looking at her face. <laughs> Jake, Jake literally is just constantly like, whoa, oh, my camera work. Can you again? Logan's gonna um, go into the Russian Yeah, stuff I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is the guy who he's gonna go up against. It's an open handed slap that you've got to take. You can't flinch, you can't get out the way. Basically, first to be knocked out, it seems, losers. He's not a huge guy in terms of height, it doesn't seem, but he's thicker than a Snickers. This is gonna be Logan. <laughs> Slap the fucking taste out of his mouth. This is the World Concussion Championships, to right, be honest yeah. Like, if you want to have guaranteed brain damage, this is the game for you. Like, at least in the UFC, you can block, you can put your hands up, you can get away, like, you can protect yourself. You're literally car crashing yourself 
doing this pretty yeah. much. I've actually been close to messaging him personally and being like, this ain't it, Chief. Like, you need to yeah. not do this. Because if he wants to box JJ after this, it's a fact. If you watch fighting, you get knocked out once, the lights go off much easier every ah. time because it's almost like a learned response that your brain goes into. React. So it's yeah. to protect yourself. The more it happens, the easier it happens again. So if, if Logan goes in this and gets Starched, which this guy is an expert uh, at doing that. Yeah. And he gets knocked out and then he goes and fights JJ in six months, four months time or whatever it is. And JJ hits him on that same spot. He'll be more likely to go out again. Like I've seen Logan practicing his slaps. He looks know. good. Yeah, but he's a, he's a fit guy. He's gonna fucking d do good. He's gonna be decent. This dude is like a little wind up slapping machine that's like blends Sunday dinners down and has like five a day or something. It's almost better to have what he's got he's there, got, which is that bit of meat. He's got to, that butter bean yeah, type build yeah. where it's like just power. He's not an athlete. He's just there to destroy. To be fair, if Logan can take a few slaps off him, then. Fuck me, fair play, but it's just mad me. Do you remember that YouTuber who kissed his sister? No, he's kissing his mum. Are you seeing it yet? No. There's one where he goes around just kissing pregnant women. They're all actors. Bit are, they, weird. are they pregnant though? I mean, I don't know. I suppose you can shove a cushion up your shirt and it makes it look that way, doesn't it? If you really want to impress me, get the ultrasound done. Right, yeah. And then I'll snog the face off, he said, Brian. <laughs> this video, we're going to top my kissing my sister Prank. All of those views and you're still recording on a pile of shit. On a camera. potato? Why are you using a potato to film your videos? Even I don't do that. Alright, here we go. Bell's like trying to stop this. Here we go. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That's not even that bad. I used to kiss my mum when I was a kid. Not like that. I used uh, to just be like, night mum, bang. Yeah. I'd, I'd nutter. <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow kiss. I kissed everyone in my family when I was a kid. Just not in that way. No, but that was just a little peck, wasn't it? The sister one, he really got into it. He yeah. He wanted to fuck his sister, basically. If he was necking on with his mum, I'd be like, all right, fair play, mate. You know. <laughs> but, all right, now you've got my respect. Yeah, no, yeah, well, yeah. Now I respect everything about you. I would kiss his mum. It's fine. It's not the way it works. Game of Thrones chat now. Spoiler alert. Yeah. There's 500,000 signatures gone out onto a petition for Game of Thrones season 8 to be rewritten with competent writers. Insulting. Pe people are pissed off. Yeah. Did you sign it? Uh, I haven't. Too busy replying to my James Charles DMs. Yeah. Can we got a collab. Uh, <laughs> Want to get on the podcast? Yeah. Um, it would actually make a good podcast. No, definitely. Yeah. We know there's a trade there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that. Brian um, said to me the other day, ultimately, a warm hole is a warm hole. Mm. Mm. Any hole is a goal. Back to Game of Thrones. That's what we were going to call the kickoff originally. A lot of people aren't happy with no. Game of Thrones no. because Daenerys is now the bad bitch. She's the mad queen. Some people say, oh, it's because that they didn't get the ending they wanted. They wanted a happy ending, and that's why they're unhappy. Boom. I disagree. Oh. Things have gone wrong in the past on Game of Thrones before. Ned Stark, the main character, killed end of the first series. The Red Wedding, mm -hmm. where his son was killed, and it was an awful thing, where everyone was miserable, that like they'd lost favourite characters. But it was great writing, it was set up well, and even though it was an unhappy ending to a series or whatever, people still loved it. No one ever mentioned the writers. The reason people are mentioning the writers now is because Daenerys, there's been very little set up to her turning from a good guy into a bad guy. Right. Yes, she's done things previously in Game of Thrones which could be considered kind of bad, but she's always done good things in amongst that, and including two episodes before this, saving the world. She's gone from saving the world to burning the fucking world. It was too quick of a turn, too rushed, it wasn't well set up at all. Foreshadowing and setting something up are two different things, and it hasn't been done well. And now we're onto the last episode, and I just hope that they don't fuck it up worse. For the record, I've got no problem in the making Daenerys a bad guy. Just make it a slow descent into madness where she's clearly struggling with that battle inside of her. Like they did on Star Wars for Anakin Skywalker. Like, that would have worked well, but they haven't. And Star Wars wasn't even great. That well, was... millionaires don't watch Star Wars. We'll see what happens in the final episode. I'm not looking forward to it. You don't watch it, that's what I watched. I watched Fuck episode on. 5 just to, so I could chat with you about it. And then you've gone and done a monologue. I was hoping I could interact a bit on that. No, but no. But you haven't watched the rest of it. Should, I have. Te I mean, I've seen where we up to. It's a bit like the North Korea situation for me. We got rid of Kim Jong Un, Cersei. Six nine girlfriend tattoo. Girlfriend. Mm. That is awful. They're a lovely pair of tits. Just just gone and put that on. Wow. She didn't even pick a good picture dude, of him. Dude, she doesn't give a fuck. Literally, she is a billboard for this guy. If I, they break up now, oh yeah. she's in trouble. She's having that Joe Weller shit done. Like, that will be very mm. painful, though. You know, just sort of around there that's mm. a very sensitive part of the body for 
you know, women. Or make it into a montage and like a collage of things. Put a bit of Tupac over your shoulder. Someone like goes to date later on. She's like, she's got hip hop legends <laughs> all over her. Biggie all over her And then her he goes, chest. why do you get 6 9 that big? Yeah. Just loved him. Love loved him. him at the time it was a really influential album you wouldn't get it <laughs> two chains in the background going I love bad bitches that's my fucking problem and yeah I like to fuck I've got a fucking problem <laughs> here she is sucking off a fucking octopus again probably shouldn't try and eat it alive should you you fucking idiot wow look at her eye you know what I love is that she's been bitten by the octopus and she's going oh no and the octopus is like fucking have a bit of that yeah good on him yeah you fucking dick this guy is the new uh, Wolf of Wall Street here's a potato One bam snap, you got very good love that home fries in a second and look at yeah. this but you add a mushroom the more you do it the finer it gets you have to switch any brain that's really now, good this thing this tuna looks boring now you're gonna have a nice tuna Salad. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. That, that is amazing. Here's a hard boiled egg. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. We get the concept. He knows those housewives at home are going, oh yes. So, what about fruit? Put a mango. We get it. It's sort of therapeutic though. I never get sick of watching him just chop shit. Yeah. Can't open this up. It's worthless. Forget about it. Oh, he's, oh, First he's, a, time. he's a master. He must have done that take so many I'm times. Mate, he's the Wolf of Wall Street. There is one four word question you must absolutely never ask a man if you want him to be your boyfriend or your husband or anything beyond just a hookup who you never hear from again. What's that question, Brian? One four word. Four word question. Do you love me? Let's find out here, Brian. Okay. The question is Ah, you. Blank. Well, the fact that I guessed that before any hints is just like amazing. It's as if you have a craft of the English language. Or that I'm a man. I'm a man. Well, James, is. is this guy the kind of guy that you would take relationship advice from? I certainly wouldn't take arm hair Shaking advice. Yeah. Yes. How can his his head be so bald and his arms be so furry? Maybe he did that. He wants to get that shaven off and implanted. Teach you the shocking and strange truth about masculine psychology and why men pull away and introduce you to a simple three-word phrase that forces a man to automatically open his heart, let down his shields, and commit to protecting you. Three-word phrase. What three-word phrase would that be? Fuck me harder. Open his. Open my heart. That's yeah. just I'm, My shield's down, Lance. <laughs> just even saying it to myself. And I'm committed to protect you. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Spotify, I'm looking at the camera now and talking to you not yeah. Lawrence I thought you quite liked this story because you do actually love KFC <laughs> this man was going into KFC for a whole year and saying he'd been sent from head office to, to test the chicken and they were basically giving him free chicken so he could test it yeah. every single time he used to walk into the KFC walk in with a lot of confidence and tell the employees that he was sent from the KFC headquarters <laughs> for quality assurance yes. I thought it was pretty cool that you could walk in and go hey, I'm here for you send me. Um, quality assurance again what again we did it yesterday no they want me you want me in every day we were unsure on the wrap yesterday mm. I, I was wondering I think, if you've improved I, I think, the not, wrap since not so sure I want to try some legs and a bargain bucket please if we could <laughs> wrap that up the go and as I say yesterday the wrap was weak so if we could have improved that today that'd be fantastic <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the funny thing is, every day they will have been all like, he's here, he's he's here, here. again. He Shit. Even- the man is a legend. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, as well. It's that kind of um, entrepreneurial spirit I can get behind. Yeah. These oh. people were YouTubers, mm. prank YouTubers, right? But also a couple. There's a word for prank YouTubers cunts. Right. And those people were going around Walmart and pretending that they were from head office. Again, more people from head office, but they were firing employees yeah. of Walmart and basically I'm, a, I'm afraid they're making cuts and you've literally just come in and they've just sacked random people that's so heartless what's good Lauren and and welcome back to the channel you guys today is so funny today I'm actually going to be doing a social experiment a social experiment mm-hmm. what do people do when they get fired yeah, the social experiment when you're making people think they can't afford to feed their kids anymore hilarious hi what are you doing you're working oh yeah I'm the CEO of this Walmart I'm the CEO of this Walmart. Yeah. So I'm just checking on my employees and stuff. And I'm shocked that anyone would believe that acting. I'm the CEO of this Walmart. I'm, I'm checking on my employees and stuff. How anyone fell for this bullshit is amazing to me. Now, Brian, have you ever tried to fix your sink with noodles? That's right. We've all done it. Put the noodles there. Shove, shove, shove. Glue on the noodles. Shove, shove, shove. Wow. Look at him working those noodles. Look at that. He's making a sink out of noodles. That looks really I, nice. I, I literally had no idea where you were going with this. What he happens is. when the hot water runs? Well, he's noodled it. The noodles will dissolve, Lord. No, Brian. In the hot water. No. And I don't think we ever get to see that anyway. It's a flawed concept. No. Noodles, 
Fix sinks. Okay, here's Rick. Wow, Rick is... um, you've seen this one. This is my favorite. Scarface. This is me out of depression. You can beat it. It is very beatable. Here's Rick in a van or a car. Hiya. Heil, how are doing? Heil. Straight to work, beasted it. <laughs> Sorry, I think we've misinterpreted what we, what we <laughs> have in our midst here with Rick. Click on my YouTube link, check it out, see what you think, drop some comments for us. And um, in the meantime, be cool. Go do stuff. Yeah. Oh, That's a good one. Let me have a little... Oh, wow. His, Rick's looking quite cute there. Yeah, true. What's Rick yeah, doing yeah, there, eh? Yeah. I hope James Charles doesn't find this one. Hi all. How are you all doing? Hope you're all good. I'm going to be dropping a new YouTube video over the next couple of days. Uh, but this one concerns one of my confidential conversations with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> Rick, we need to keep them confidential, mate. That's literally the nature of confidentiality, Rick. Rick's, Rick's a good lad. Had some tough times. Mm. Bouncing back from it. He's a good inspiration to everyone out there. If you, do you know what? If you just want a little bit of positivity in your life, go and find him yeah. on Instagram. And? On Rick Cowley. If the time isn't right, then work on the time and make it right. Hashtag go do stuff. Credit to him. Yeah. Um, Let's go to his YouTube. Rick, Rick Cowley. Yeah. Check him out. It's got a YouTube. If you haven't already today, go do stuff. I just want to relax and watch a bit of the big old BVM. Don't skip the adverts, please. Lads go on a charity walk. These lads are going to do a sponsored walk. Yeah. Or they must be mad. They're going up where? Uh, Kudra Ildris. Excuse my pronunciation, any Welsh people in Snowdonia. Um, we're doing what's called an ultra trail, so it's like... So, these lads are going... <laughs> you know, I love is He just sort of lost interest in the guy. We're going to go and do it, and he literally went, so, watch. What's called an ultra trail, so it's like... So, these <laughs> lads are going to do... Dave is doing what all YouTubers do, which is try to make their own videos more entertaining, and when someone's boring the fuck, just cut them off. Are you doing it for charity? Uh, what charities are you going for? Uh, so we're doing our local scout troop. Are they not a bit old to be scouts? <laughs> yeah, I think they used to be scouts. They're not scouts anymore. Rainbows, which is a local children's hospice. Um, the, the Samaritans, because yeah. it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and... Deep There's yeah. a lot of people eating at this dinner table of charity money. There's probably not going to be a lot of money, is there? I don't think so. I worry. I worry for that. Yeah, I worry. Like a fiver here. Yeah. Fiver there. <laughs> We'd like to give you a fiver. Honestly, the processing fee is more than that. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. I've come to sight of them at the, uh, where am I, Dave? We're at the Bear Falls, the uh, Cask and Tap House. There you go. They're all charismatic. Are they working well together? These two are like true Geordie and Lawrence. I found this place a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I needed to get some vape and I went over to the vape shop across the road and I said to the wife, come on, we're going in here. Of course he vapes. He's a modern man and he, he's a modern as much man. as he's old school, mm -hmm. he's moving with the times, Lawrence. Yeah, I mean, Brian, name a more iconic duo. <laughs> I'll wait. He's just got a lovely warm atmosphere and if my wife likes it, there you go, that just uh, goes on. Yeah, we're recording, making sure. <laughs> Are we still recording? Just checking the... Yeah. yeah. I think uh -huh. so, yeah. yeah. Fall out of love with the WWE. Oh, man, we need to watch this. Like, we used to watch WWE when we were younger. Yeah. I I'm sure he watched, like, the wrestling when we watched it. And Storm a little bit called before. Steve Austin. Yeah, yeah. Era. As, um, my popularity seems to keep growing... <laughs> oh, God! Well, this is where I start. I'm actually falling out of love with the WWE. It was one of the things where I used to make the three hour and the two hour thing the part of my life. I've actually missed Raw. And sometimes I don't even bother with SmackDown. <laughs> I don't even bother with the one hour. <laughs> Can I just say though, it's mad how many of my, but I grew up with a lot of mates who stuck with it. Like, you know, when you got to a point where you were like, yeah, yeah I'm done. a lot of my mates stuck with it. And even I've heard from them, they're like, oh, it's yeah. so shit. It's just, it's so different for this generation. Yeah. Like, like they've had to change it so much. Basically they've gone so PG and, 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 you know, everyone knows it isn't real, but like there was always that element of, oh, these guys seem like they could really kick ass in real life. So that's enough. Yeah, for yeah. me, there's not also not enough of like the mankind type wrestlers anymore, uh, where there's like a char character. Yeah. It's for they, me, it's they've, just they've who's all, the hard guy? They've all got names like Zap Brannigan. Yeah. Like it, it's always like Jack Flash. Like yeah. they, they, they've all got really shit characters. Now. Yeah. It's, it's sad when YouTube is offering better character, more, than more like personality yeah. than paid writers can. I'm gonna say it's fake, and I know it's fake, but it's just, and I don't honestly understand what Vince McMahon's thinking. Why are we having Brock Lesnar making out some superhero who just turns up once in a blue moon? When I paid for that, I've stopped, I've actually canceled the subscription. 
to the WWE. Oh, oh my WWE. God. I'm sad now. They, they need to hire him in some way as like a direct, creative director. An exec producer. So just overseeing things. No, just... Uh, Do we need Brock, really? You know, yeah, that kind I of think thing. he could really help structure the storyline. Right, so that's the end of today's True News, but don't worry. We've got more coming later this week. Come on, tapel too? No, that's... PS de Resistance. Um... It's Je suis nice. Lance. We've been we've been travelling to a principality. We've been seeing the world, and mm. also I That's might cool. have been given three hundred thousand dollar car. Whoa! It was an experience I'll never forget, and, and and I've got a video so you can live it too. Boom! Enjoy. You're welcome. Subscribe, like the video, comment. We'll see you fucking later. Karaoke. Aye, right, come on. Then. Yeah. Wow, this thing's sick.